Wow. Hello, Joe. Hi, Al. How are you? Alex. I'm good, thank you. Alex. <laughs> Build the best volcano. You have 10 minutes to design your volcano blueprint. <laughs> You then have 20 minutes to build and demonstrate your volcano. Your time starts now. Um, what have we got to build with? We need cork, yeah? It's like bicarbonate of soda and something. Or oh, then what's the kind of, the one that, like, Mentos and cola, was that, is that a thing? Mentos, yeah? That'll go up like a, like Christmas. Come on! Many as you can physically get in there. We can do a few more than that, I reckon. Put them on. Josh is there. Rob's right at the top. Bob's down there. No purse there. And Catherine's here. They're all, they're all, they're all conquerors. Okay. This is dedicated to all the champions of champions. I hope to join you all one day on this magnificent volcano. Go in. Oh. Coffee. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> it's increasingly, I find. <laughs> I mean, I'm so, I'm so genuinely heartbroken by it. I can't even uh, begin mm. to ridicule you. I think it's, um, it's a crying shame. The, the engineering, oh. the vision, and then that. <laughs> And the cry of, I'll see you in the champion of champions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. it, it's just, it's, it's a Shakespearean tragedy. <laughs> How'd you feel? I, ge <laughs> I genuinely don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Hello for Wang. Write a ten-word story before you reach the finish line. You must be running while writing. Must be. Shoot! Fastest across the finish line with a proper story wins. What do you mean a proper story? You'll have a start, middle and end. It's quite, I feel quite anxious about this one. Running and writing, writing a ten-word story. That's counting, running and writing. Counting, running and writing. Could you read the last line of the task, please, Phil? Yeah, just give me a second. Phil, could you read the last line? Your time starts now. Thank you, Phil. How many words? Ten, please. I must be running what? Um. <laughs> Three-part structure, production, conflict, Resolution. She needed shoes and found its mother. Did it say write or tell a ten word story? All the information's on the task. <laughs> Finish? I've just remembered it's supposed to be ten words. Okay, I've got a story. <sighs> An ogre was hungry. <laughs> ate, ate a child. It was his. Thank you, Bill. And you've definitely written that. Well, written, you know, write a story is not... It doesn't literally mean write. We say Homer wrote the Iliad, but we also all understand that was probably passed down through uh, oral tradition. So you've used the oral tradition? <laughs> OK, I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let him know. OK. Thank yeah. you, Phil. Hi, thanks, guys. Good story. Oh, yeah, there was a pen and paper here. <laughs> I also regret saying oral tradition while my dick was out. <laughs> so, the oral... <laughs> you're using... 
<laughs> the oral, oral tradition of Homer's Iliad. Yes. Yeah, I, well, I enjoyed that as an explanation. Yeah. I'm tempted to buy it, you know. OK. And I think the story was pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Beginning, <laughs> Ogre was hungry, middle. He fulfills that hunger. Twist, he's eaten his own child, which is an act of... Ha happiness. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming to me. So, th uh, three tasks, or...? So, Nish, there are three items on that table. And three tasks. I can see them. Three tasks, three items. You can open them in any order you want. OK. You will be opening all three in the course of the task. Well, then I'm not going to overthink that part. It's look interesting. Go central. We always go for the left. We always go for the left. Right to left, Arabic style. Balance one item on top of the red pole. Eat one item. Fastest wins. Your time started when you opened the first task and ends when you've completed all three tasks. OK, I'm going to check the other tasks first. Standing behind this rope. Throw one item into the bucket. Where's the rope? Oh, the... yeah. <laughs> eat one item. OK. Balance one item on top of the red pole. So I've got to eat one, throw one in the bucket, balance one on top there. Well, this balance on here is that silly? Still, it surely is possible. Let's try throwing the Weetabix in the bucket then. No. Go with this as well. Ooh. Well, I'm going to continue throwing both of these. No. No. Underarm. Oh! No win. In. That's in. The twiglet is in. That was the measure. Ah! Disintegrated! It's all going to go into the bucket. <laughs> disintegrated. Some of it's in. Percentage? I'm going to go five. What's happened here is I've had a bit of the old fit of rage. Weetabix is compromised. I hate this show. And that, I think, is that. Get up. Shame, I was, I was going to give you an extra bonus point for the sheer style of the jelly throw at the end. <laughs> I've just taken it away because you pushed my table over. <laughs> it was... Uh, the anger had sort of got the best of me uh, by that point because it was quite a hot day and there were quite a lot of people uh, <laughs> watching and openly laughing <laughs> uh, and shouting, look at that man, he's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it's interesting how quickly you can remove any hint of film star cool <laughs> by getting someone to chuck a Weetabix <laughs> into a bin. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Alex. Oh, hello, Phil. <laughs> hello, James. Hula. <laughs> hula. You have one minute. Your time starts now. Are you ready for the hula hoopers? Am I? So, they were told to hula for one minute. This is what they did. I've never been able to hula. Oh, oh. oh that's all right. It's OK, that. <laughs> Ow. Hurts. Hurts. <sighs> oh. I've never done this before. This is the first. Oh, boy. Thank you. Improve your hooling. Greatest improvement wins. You have until the studio shows. The time starts now. I don't know if anyone else found that as traumatic as I did. <laughs> I could not take my eyes off it. You didn't have a choice. It doesn't matter sometimes how ornate the grandfather clock is, the pendulum draws the eye. <laughs> 
we basically saying that James has got to do more than six seconds to win this task? Well, it depends how many more seconds than 57 Wang does. It's who improves, who improves the most. And let's see how they do right now. You can have one attempt at this. Oh. When I blow my whistle, please start hoolering. Greatest improvement wins. <laughs> Hula. Impressive, isn't it? It's such a shame we've got to take his first attempt. <laughs> Wouldn't just take his second attempt, I would suggest. Which was spectacular. Them is the rules, I'm afraid. Uh, David Baddiel's going to read this one. Throw your things far, but not too far. <laughs> Taking it in turns, you must select a thing and throw it beyond the line but not off the runway. If your thing does not end up in the safe zone, you are disqualified. If all objects end up in the safe zone, the person who has thrown their thing the shortest distance is disqualified. You may not manipulate your things in any way before throwing them. Last player standing wins. Welcome, David Baddiel, to the Thank you. OK. So, thank is, you thank is very this much. a rubber act? <laughs> Struggled with the door handle. I wonder if that might be the task. <laughs> Big fan of tea, so this is a real boost to me. Right. Throw a tea bag into a mug from the furthest yeah. distance. You have exactly one hour. Your time starts now. I reckon I'll be pretty good at this. Played a lot of cricket in my youth. It's the longest part of the house. But how would I get into the mug? I mean, I'm just thinking about length. I'm not thinking about any accuracy. Um, I, I, the key, clearly, is do you want wet tea bags, dry tea bags, rubbish. Let's do this. I've only brought out one tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> let's just see where. Let's just see where I am as an average. No. Wet it. I need to wet it. What if I put? Loads of teacups around and just increase my chances. That's the I, I reckon that's the best way of doing it. <laughs> oh god! Are you kidding me? What? That's the first one in. So to clarify, it's the furthest distance for me to throw a tea, tea bag into a mug. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily mean horizontally. It's there. Right in. It's five metres exactly. <laughs> it's infallible. Yo! Oh my god! The last batch of squares I've got, and then I'm gonna have to start tying them up like a chump and then use reuse them again. I didn't think I was gonna to get to this point. There's so many of them. I have to say, when I picture the others, I don't see them getting this kind of distance. Poets, girls. <laughs> Some will take the first 45 minutes to realise that it's better if they're wet. I just realised I should probably wet them. <laughs> Quite late on to 
discover that, make that realisation, but... Unbelievable. It's so good to discover this so late on. I mean, it's added so much to the distance, it's rendered everything we've done up to this point completely irrelevant. There. I've just moved my hand a little bit, but it's there. It's in the mug. Yeah! Come on! Come on! What, mate? For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.